my second Tinder date. Don't do this. Don't be like me. Fine, and like get into my car, he just hugs me. And I'm like, why did he just hug me? That's it? And I left, and he kissed me. It was raining. It was just so cute. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We are making a sit down video today. It's been so long since I've done one of these. It's been too long. I look crazy, but what we're gonna do is my hair in this video as I talk. So what is this video about? Today we're making a nosy question video. You guys ask me the craziest questions. Not crazy, you guys just wanna know about my life, which I totally understand. We're almost like nearing 5,000 subscribers and um, you guys are so important to me. I love you guys, obviously. And a lot of you guys are rooting for me harder than even my own family <laughs> because they just don't know. And you guys follow me and I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna give you guys some drama into my life today before we start doing my hair. I also need to eat. So I usually start my hair at like 6 p.m. So we're already winning. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. So in this video, we're talking about like where I've been in school, graduation, where do I even live right now? We're talking about my boyfriend, my diet, skincare, hair. We're talking about everything that you guys have probably ever asked me. Um, a lot of questions are towards my boyfriend because one day, he just kind of popped up and I kept it that way on purpose. Um, but he's here to stay. We do live together. This is our house. Um, so yeah, let's start with the first question. If you guys have any more questions after this, which I hope that I kind of capture everything that you guys could ever possibly know in this video. Um, but if you have another question, just leave it in the comment below or in the comment section below. So um, let's talk about school first. So I went to, a Catholic school. I graduated from a Catholic school in Ohio and then I went to Xavier University. So I'm a Xavier University alum and yes that's how you say it. It's not Xavier, it's Xavier. Graduated from Xavier and then went to a Caribbean medical school and I am not done with that program yet but I do have a degree in psychology from Xavier and then I'll be getting my medical degree. I will be an MD next year. Um, what kind of doctor do I want to be? I have no idea. Um, so when I first started, I wanted to do plastics when I was like super young. And then I wanted to do GI when I had all the stomach problems. So that would be like internal medicine or I think that's internal. And then um, recently, like in the past couple of years, I've wanted to do OB. Um, if you guys don't know, my dad is an OB. So I've always loved that. I love the mommies and the babies. Um, and when I did my rotation, I absolutely loved it. So I'm thinking along those lines, but then, I don't know. Now I'm more into like family medicine and like kind of having more of a schedule where I can go home at night, you know? And then you guys have known, you've seen throughout my, my time on YouTube where I've been in med school, where I'm kind of like go up and down with like, do I love it? Do I, do I want to apply for residency? Those questions I can't answer because I don't know the answer to those questions. So, yes, I'm still in school. Next year, I will graduate. I still have some tests to take. You guys see me like here and there talking about my tests. I don't really talk about school too much because it's like, I don't know. I'm, I don't want to be like a student. Like that's my only identity, especially here on YouTube. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not into like, let's talk about medical facts or like, I'm not that girl on YouTube. Um, I like to talk about like fitness and like my goals and my life and you know, fun stuff. School, I've been in school since I was two and a half. I'm 31. The last thing I want to talk about is school. So now that we got that all out of the way, I am going to get some food and then we're going to take this out because it's a mess. I got some hair upstairs. We're going to braid my hair. I did a little poll on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you follow me on Instagram. I love chatting with you guys. So when I like ask a question, please answer or like put the, like a, a poll or like comment below. I love t chatting with you guys all the time. Um, so yeah, let's interact there. So I asked, like, do you want to see more braids or straight? My boyfriend, he got the last vote and he said the braids. He said it's his favorite style. I love that. So uh, we're doing the braids and it's so nice for me because I don't have to do my hair for like weeks. Um, I'll wash it and stuff like in the middle if it, you know, when it gets gross. But um, yeah, braids is like the simplest style. It looks cute, like part in the middle, down the side. I can curl the ends. It's just a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful simple style once it's done it's gonna take me all day but once it's done chef's kiss so i'm gonna eat and i'll be back with more 
nosy questions. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> I'm making some vegan chicken tenders. While that's cooking, I made my favorite smoothie. If you guys aren't familiar with this smoothie, you must be new here. So at the bottom, I did frozen mango. I love the one from Costco, the huge bag, it's organic. Second best, Trader Joe's, the organic or non, they're both good. Every other place, it's like watered down. This has so much flavor, so those two. Frozen mango at the bottom, <clears throat> so much spinach. Like, so, to the point where you're like, this seems like too much, it's not, trust me, you can't taste it. On top of that, closest to the blades, because this is my ninja, uh, I put the banana, and then I put the 30 calorie Kirkland almond milk, and lots of lime juice, that's the secret ingredient. Or if you have like a clementine or an orange, put that in there, 10 out of 10, recommend. Uh, it's my go-to. Next question, where do I live? So, I lived, obviously, well not obviously, I lived in Grand Cayman, going to school, we had to do two years there. And then I lived, where did I live after that? With my parents in Ohio. And then I lived in, I lived in Michigan with my boyfriend here for like a little bit. And then I went to Chicago to start my rotations. And I lived there for like four months, two months, two months? I have no idea. And now I live here in Michigan. I was born and raised in Michigan for you guys that don't know. Um, so I was here my whole childhood. Um, so Michigan is home and I'm happy to be back. Hi guys, okay, we're upstairs. And um, this video is brought to you by Black Label Logistics. I'll leave everything below. Basically, we are an independent logistics company seeking out carriers, owner operators. So like if you have a box truck, a, um, a dry van, a reefer, a hot shot, those are the, the markets that we're in. If you have one of those and you need a dispatcher, so you need someone to find loads for you, negotiate, do all your back work, like all your back office paperwork, that's where we come in. We handle all the logistics for you. We have an e-sign onboarding packet, then we negotiate with the brokers, fill out all the packets with all the information you gave us. Um, in there we have like your preferences, everything is in one document for you guys to sign so if you know anybody or um if you yourself are a driver and you need a dispatcher i'll leave our information below right here we have an instagram a facebook page email we're working on the logo right now and a phone number and you reach me so it's a small black owned business and we love for you guys to get the word out and let your friends know so Back to the video. So um, let's do another question right now. I've got my vegan chicken tenders right here and then I've got stuff. I'm making little um, gifts for owner carriers or carriers, owner operators for when we are on the road. Hopefully we'll stop at some truck stops and make some friends. So I'm gonna do that right now and then I've got some other presents to do. Um, so what was the question I was gonna say that I was gonna a answer? So. Um, after med school, you do your two years of like in the classroom learning, which is why I was on the island. And then after you're done with that, you take step one. Huge test, very important. Pass that. Cha-ching. Okay, after you do all your rotation, so then I go see why I was in Chicago. I was doing like family medicine. I'm doing, um, surgery. You have to do peds, OB, psych. You have to do all of these rotations and then you take another test called step two after that. So I'm right there in that little limbo. So after each rotation, you have to take a test. So like a psych test, then you have to take an OB test and you have to take a surgery test. So that's what I'm taking right now. They're called shelf exams. So when you see me on Instagram and I'm like, oh, I'm taking another exam. Those are the exams I'm taking right now. I have one left and then I get to sit and take the other really long test. I'm pretty sure the first one, step two, or step one was eight hours. I think step two is even longer than that. So that's what I'm gearing up to do in the beginning of next year before I graduate, I have to take that. And then um, I have some electives to do, I think a total of 24 weeks, and then I'll be done with med school. Okay, and then when you're in residency, you take step three, and then to be board certified in whatever field, I'm pretty sure you have to do it every year. Um, my dad's in the OB, or he's an OB, and he has to do exams every year to uh, make sure he is board certified. So, um, depending on what field I go into will depend on that exam. I'm not exactly sure of the other ones, um, just because I'm so close to him. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to do this, and then I need to start doing my hair, and then we'll answer more questions. We're getting, getting into my workouts, my diet, my boyfriend, all the juice. <laughs> Hi, friends. We're back. Um, so I just wanted to 
do skincare and hair care really quick with you guys. This is the EOS lip or chapstick. I use this every day. Um, honestly, for my face, I just use a bar of antibacterial dial soap, which has been so nice to take off my makeup and then to get, I'm sorry if I'm screaming, <laughs> to get all the yuckies off. Um, it's been wonderful. And then on top of that, in the winter time, I've been using coconut oil on my face. That's it. Those two products. And then obviously my makeup, I have a primer and all that jazz. And then in the summer, I have a, um, a sunscreen that I use also. I'll put co coconut oil in my hair, on my skin, everywhere. My face has been loving this lately and breakouts have been at a minimum, knock on wood. When I do have a breakout though, I will use astringent and then I will use this Target brand like acne cream, whatever. Hair care. I go back and forth with a bunch of products but mostly you guys i use this for my hair if i'm doing a curly style curl enhancing smoothie all day every day i've been using this for years my hair loves it whenever i switch i feel like the curls are just like not as moisturized and they don't stay as long and then also going back and forth with gel shouldn't so i use the curl enhancing and then eco styler just got this my hair loves it it lays down and it stays down that's what we care about, laying down and staying down. So right now, I'm going to straighten my hair with these two products. Um, always, Color Wow, use it. Um, so I have a little bit left in here and I just got this one. And then there's Olaplex oil, which hopefully I'm getting for Christmas. Um, I held off on the store getting it the other day because I think this was on my list too, but like who can't use another one of these and some more oil. Um, but for right now I'm using this Jamaican black castor oil and this company sent me these, this like biotin serum, which honestly I've used the whole bottle. And if you guys are watching, thank you so much. Purity, um, I've used this whole bottle and thank you guys for sending me two. I think the other one is in the other bathroom. We're about to go right now. What else do I use on my body all the time? Lotion. Um, and mostly my makeup products are e.l.f. So if you guys want to see a makeup routine of like recent stuff, I'll show you guys that later. But yeah, that knocks off some more things. So let's handle this hair. Okay, I look crazy, but we only have two sections left. The back of it is already blow dried. So I'm going to do this section and this section and then we'll be good to go. So... <sighs> okay, hopefully you can hear me because I've got the fan blowing. Whenever I do my hair, anybody else is like sweating. So we do kind of a lot of this serum. I don't care if my hair is like oily, even though I don't think this makes my hair oily at all. My hair just soaks up like everything. Anyway, um, we're really just trying to protect our ends here. The oldest part of our hair. And if my hair is like at all hard to comb out, I will put the ends off immediately because nobody has time for that. Then we drench our hair in Color Wow. And I did texturize my hair and it's like, also like this is not how I would do it at all if it were curly. Um, yeah, like see the ends look, they're more texture, or there's more texture up here than down here because this was the blonde part and then I put texturizer in it. Yeah, but I also was like, should I just do a straight relaxer? Because I'm sick of my hair. Let me turn the fan off. Okay, so let's talk about, finally, I think we're on the juicy part right now. Is talking about my boyfriend, you guys' favorite topic. <sighs> okay, so actually, we're on diet and exercise. So right now, I am eating around 1,400 calories. I'm sorry, we'll get to the boyfriend part. Um... Right now I'm eating around 1,400 calories, and you can go into my fitness pal and change around like how many grams of protein or like what percentage of the protein it is, and then it comes up with like um, how many grams for you, which is really nice. So I try to aim like 80, 90, 100 ish, um, anywhere in there. I'm very happy. Um, so yeah, I go high on the protein right now. All of my snacks, all the meals I make, even. Um, 
yeah like i make sure i drink a shake after i work out every day i have like a protein bar with me always protein yogurt protein cereal I'm proteined up, okay? I will say it's made me more gassy, which I'm not a fan of, but we're here for um, becoming lean and strong. So we're doing that right now. Exercise, I work out five times a week right now. And then I just laid out all the pieces of hair because I'm doing knotless braids, which means you like take a little tiny piece like that for every single time. So it just makes it so much fun. Okay, so I have like so much hair, you guys. Which is why, like, thank you, Lord, for all this hair. Um, I know there's a lot of people that, like, don't have thick head of hair. Um, it just makes it a little bit more difficult when trying to do anything with it, um, unless you're a hairstylist, which I am not. Um, I just happen to teach myself how to do all these styles because, um, I'm not paying for it. Okay, hi. It's now 8.41 and we have all this done. I've got this section already roped off to go right here and so we'll have this left. This is always the worst part because I'm so tired at this point and my joints hurt. But anyway, okay, let's get back to the video. So I think this is time where um, we talk about my boyfriend. Um, so um, where did we meet? We met online. On Tinder actually and I will say that like I remember when I first told my sister about like I was going I'm going on a tinder date she was like ew isn't that like a hookup site I think it is I don't know I wasn't on there for that and so I made that very clear and like I was very intentional about what photos I picked um, I have no idea what photos I picked they were like cute but like nothing was like super revealing like I was very strategic about that and honestly so was he like he said the um the, the bare minimum which I think is good too because a lot of women would see I don't know like there's like gold diggers and whatever so like we were both protecting our ourselves on there because he's very successful he's charming he's handsome and so he said like the very minimum right okay so i he was my second tinder date and so the first tinder date i can't remember it went okay i think he would just like wanted to hook up and i was like yep i'm gonna leave now and that was the end of that like we kind of talked a little bit and then it kind of faded out um but then my boyfriend and i it was so weird. So I was like talking to, you know, you have all these like chats open with like random people. So I was talking to like maybe like three other people and then him. And I was always so interested in him because he would like say something so well like about his life. And I'd be like, oh my God, he sounds so interesting and cool. Whereas everyone else was like the standard, like what's your favorite book? Or like, what's your favorite food? And he was just like, yeah. So I bought a house. Like, what? You did what? <laughs> and then... And then I would hear from him for like a day or two and I'm like trying not to go in and like look too much like into you know I was looking to see if he responded I was like oh my god congratulations and he's like yeah well what or thank you it's a piece of crap <laughs> I was just like so intrigued by him I don't know why he was like funny but I couldn't tell if he was funny or if he was like kind of like a smart aleck like I I didn't know but like I was intrigued by it I really wish I hope I can contact Tinder and get our conversation um for our wedding or for our anniversary or something because it's hilarious it's got to be hilarious at this point and so finally I was like when are you gonna ask me on a date because like we would talk and then there'd be like some time in between and when we talk then there'd be time in between but then when I actually got to know him I'm like I know why he was not just sitting by his phone um but I, like one day he told me he was like I was really excited about you too but I was trying not to look thirsty and so um we finally go on a date and uh he was late 20 minutes um yeah I picked the, t the location uh, because I, at that point, still lived with my parents and I was driving, I'm sorry, I keep messing with this, um, I was driving 50 minutes to get to the restaurant. It's a vegan restaurant, I love it so much. So in my head, I was like, oh, he's late. If he's not coming, I'm still gonna have a really good time. Like at this point in dating, I was like, okay, God, like whatever you wanna do, do. Like I'm just gonna be content, like where I'm at, it's fine. So, 
I could be preparing this hair while I'm talking to you guys. So I was like, God, whatever you want to do, like, it's fine. And at this point, like, I had already been, like, in my Bible, how I told you guys, um, and, like, praying and everything. So um, I'm, like, sitting there ordering my food, and, and he rolls, just smiling. And, he, guys, he's got the most beautiful green eyes and, like, the sweetest smile, like, and we had the most wonderful day ever um we just talked and talked and talked i'm pretty sure we closed the restaurant or we finished eating and then i didn't want to leave him he didn't want to leave me and so we were kind of like okay do you want to um do you want to go somewhere else and so we went to a starbucks and every time i drive past that starbucks i'm like oh my god that was where our first day was um so yeah, we went to Starbucks, and so he paid for dinner, and I paid for, um, we got tea there at Starbucks, and I burnt my mouth so bad, you guys. It was so embarrassing, and I was trying so hard not to make it look like I was in pain. I was in pain, and um, but I was still so happy. So we sat there for a while and talked, and I remember getting in his truck also, funny story which is like totally shallow of me like one of my requirements I guess you could say it was like kind of a joke but like kind of serious so I was um born and raised in like kind of a little country town and like I'm just like I love like I love that whole vibe right I love country music and I was like the next man I date is gonna drive a truck and you guys so we go outside and He's like, do you want me to drive? Like, or we can drive separate or whatever. And I was like, no, it's fine. Like, because we had been on the date together, which don't do this. Don't be like me. Um, thank God he was amazing and super kind. Um, but I got like in the car with him. So we like go over to his car and it's a truck, you guys. Big, beautiful, black truck. And I was like, oh my God, God, is this the guy? Is this him? And um, so yeah, he was like, you really shouldn't do this. Like, and then told me this like, sketchy story about some guy who took a girl in the middle of the woods yeah i don't know anyway but he was a, a perfect gentleman and like opening doors and whatever and so we leave starbucks and he makes sure like i get out of the car fine and like get into my car and he just hugs me and i'm like why did he just hug me that's it like what the heck and so i'm like okay and then what he said though i was like who is this man he goes well, when can i see you next or when can i see you again and i was like oh wow what a gentleman and so he didn't kiss me but asked to see me again and i'm like oh yeah so the whole ride home which is my dues like 50 minutes to get back to my parents house i'm talking to my sister on the phone like ooing and eyeing about what he said about this and what he said about that and he's so funny and he's so sweet blah blah blah, blah. i'm the exact same way like almost two years later he is like that times 10 uh, because I actually know him now. Um, so yeah, that's how we met. And then it was pretty much history after that. So our second date, he is an only child. And I was like, oh boy, this isn't going to go well. I'm really close with my siblings. Like, I don't know how this is going to go. And um, so I said like, okay, so we're going to do a double date with my brother. And... <laughs> He was like, okay, and like, and that's his personality. Really, he is like, I posted this thing on my Instagram about this lady. She's saying, I married a a, a six foot, two hundred and something pound bottle of volume. It's so true. He really is. And um, we had a great time. And um, my brother and sister in law left, and he kissed me. It was raining. It was just so cute. And I like, I'm getting excited and like teary eyed a little bit because. I kind of forgot about that and like re like uh, reliving that memory with you guys is so cute and I have it on video so I'll never forget which is so exciting something like very sweet to share with our children one day um, so yeah after that um, it was history pretty much I think on our third date I said something to him like I'm like not comfortable like being intimate with you in any way without us being together and he was like okay and yeah it's been awesome ever since he's just like the most kind happy loving humble hard-working selfless person person that i know and he has made me a better woman in so many ways and uh, like so many things that i've learned from him so far and like he's just sent from god truly 
Um, so if you're in your waiting season and you're praying, keep praying. God hears you. Give him time, which I could use that advice right now. Um, <laughs> but it's so true. God is so good. He's so faithful. Um, so yeah, that's how I met my boyfriend. Um, so we met in April and then I had to leave in September, which is like kind of quick. And then I moved to Chicago, which was like, I guess it was a new relationship. And I'm like, I don't know if this is going to work. Like, should I move? Is he going to be okay with this? But the other option was Atlanta. And I'm like, there's no way I'm going to Atlanta after I met this amazing man. Like, being a doctor and like being in Atlanta is like not that serious. And so I went to Chicago, ended up being great. I like learned a ton there and I drove home every single weekend, like literally here every single weekend. Not to my parents' house. Sorry, mom and dad. Uh, they were a little upset about that. I drove here every single weekend except for one, which is the one I got into a car accident. Um, so, yeah. Um, what happened after that? Oh, man. So, I would stay over here for like two to three days at a time. And like, I started leaving clothes here. And like, I just kind of like slowly moved in. <laughs> he said one day he opened the cabinets and he was like, okay. Like, she... Like all my food and stuff because you guys know I'm vegan and I can't just like eat whatever and then I get hangry too So he said he opened the cabs one day and he was just like, oh god, okay, this is what we're doing. So Yeah, that like it just happened very naturally and um, Seamless and it's been awesome ever since so slowly I've been just like accumulating all my clothes and stuff from my parents house um, But I'm pretty much like set now um, and I have way too much way too many pairs of shoes and I'm like busting out of all the closets and stuff, so that's fun for him. Okay. Thought of how old is he? Um, how old is he? He's 31. <laughs> I'm 31. He'll be 32 um, next month. And how did I meet him? I told you how long we've we been together. It'll be two years in April. Um, what else? dynamic at home I wrote down like what's what's going on so um I don't know he like goes to work and I study and stay here we have a little um chihuahua that we got together um and usually I stay with him I started a business now and he already has a business so I have an office at his business um he does sticker printing and so yeah I'm there and you guys have seen Zeus before. He's so tiny. Like, he can go everywhere with us, which is so nice. Um, yeah. If you guys want to know more, I'm sure you'll see him more in the future. Um, but yeah. So he just kind of appeared one day <laughs> on Tinder. And I'll come back to you guys and show you the end of my hair. But right now we're fully in the thick of it. Okay, guys. We're done. I look crazy so hopefully I can like I don't know I don't have any makeup on but these are the braids um and they're pretty long and I need to soak them so if you're unfamiliar when you're done with uh doing your braids you have to like put hot water like boiling hot water to seal the ends um you just make sure you like know kind of where your hair is so you don't burn your real hair um but yeah I hope you guys like this video and uh comment like and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.